Relationships have been strained between Aaron and boyfriend Jackson in Emmerdale recently, so a night out together is just the tonic to get them back on track. Best laid plans and all of that, because Paddy and Marlon have invited themselves along without really knowing where they're going. Don't know the name of the street, but it's Bar West. What? That's a gay bar. Is uh, everything all right, boys? Yes. That's where we... To Bar West. Yeah, well, I ain't got a problem with it. No. Oh, really? Must be one of those nights. All right, no worries. Are you sure there's not a problem because it's a gay bar? What? No, 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 it's fast good. Gay, cause gay's, gay's good. Gay's great. Gay the better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, uh, unfortunately, because it's Soapland, it will end in disaster, but more about that in just a moment. First, welcome to the multi-award winning Danny Miller, who plays Aaron, and, uh, and also award winning Mark Charnock. Hello. Course, who is uh, Marlon Dingle? Welcome. Let's start with the awards first of all, because I have a feeling that, uh, that those voters who voted at the Soap Awards were riddled with guilt. Yeah. Because um, it's all come right after that, hasn't it? Yeah, it has. Yeah, it's just been on a winning streak. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I, I think a lot of it's to do with people obviously saw the Soap Awards and just wanted to... Saw your sad face. Yeah, yeah. so upset. And, then... <laughs> and where are those awards now? They're at my mum's house. Yeah? Andrea. She told me to plug it. <laughs> <laughs> on the mantelpiece? On the mantelpiece, yeah. Oh, and so, yeah. and, and how, how proud is everyone when you walk in? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she always goes off on the emotional speech the minute someone walks. Oh, this is Daniel's award. Oh. And oh. Daniel as well, yeah. Well, if, you know, if the stories that, that we're hearing and that you're telling us about are true, then this could very well be another award-winning episode. Got, you, you were saying, uh, and you talk us through the, the touches, you know, the, the, that light touch which Emmerdale is very good at, and also as it gets into much darker territory later on. It's um, the whole episode, really, t tonight, uh, it's an hour special, and it's, it's played out like a really sweet romantic comedy, really, and, and sort of fish out of water comedy for Paddy and Marlon in this gay club. And it's, it's, a, it's a really light episode, and it's about Jackson and Aaron coming back together and, and finding each other again. And then in the last ten minutes, there's just a brilliant flip. Fate mm. just flips the whole thing on its head, and and takes us into this incredibly dark area, and it's, uh, we're, we're really proud of it, I think. Yeah, to say. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's a great episode. It's a great stunt as well. It's yeah. a stunt that I think people will remember in Soap for a long time. Yeah. Well, we'll do, we'll do the, uh, uh, let's, uh, because there's a lovely promo uh, that's being run on ITV1 at the moment, mm. so let's have a look at that. Oh, gosh, it sets it up a bit. Gosh, it's very powerful, isn't it? It's very, sort of, almost like a before, movie. No. That's me playing the cello on that. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Well done. We double up. Yeah. You know, so how, I mean, the effects of this, this was all, this was like a one take wonder, wasn't it? The actual crash moment. We did it, we did it, um, the actual train going into the car, we did once, um, but we had to do, basically it goes, it goes up onto the train track mm -hmm. off a of verge. Jackson loses control of the van and it goes up onto a verge and flips over and hits the, uh, onto a train track, but you don't know he's on a train track yet. Right. Until, obviously, we, re we reveal the train. Sort of coming at it, but um, we had to do it twice. Just I think I think because we'd obviously we'd messed up. I can't remember how we'd done it, but something had gone wrong with something along the cameras or the lighting or something as the the, the van went onto the track. So we had to redo it. Mm. Gosh, and there's no CGI here, so this is no. It's all, all for real. Yeah. Honestly, it's an easy thing to say, and obviously I'm biased because I'm in the show. But what I will say, in, in you know, credit to the editor and the director. Mm. Um, there's bigger explosions in, in other shows, and it is the best put together action sequence in terms of drama and as a piece of creativity that I've seen in a soap. Yeah. Honestly, it's that, that's how good it is, I yeah. think. And we can't say what happens, and in fact, I, we don't, I, don't, I don't know, but I know that you guys can't reveal, but we do know that <laughs> someone is going to be seriously, seriously hurt. Yeah. But it's, the, it, it's the effects that it has on a knock on effect as well, because it affects the other four characters in a big way. It's so, the beginning of a story as yeah. much as anything else. Yeah. This is, the consequence is going to last for a very long time for, uh, for everybody involved. Mm. Well, um, the series producer uh, has said uh, heartache and heartbreak mm. for Paddy and Marlon, and those were his words. Mm. Yeah. We, you, can you tell by our, expe our fixed mm. jaws that we're not allowed to say <laughs> much more than that? Mm, 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 lots of that. Mm, well, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't like to say. How, 
back to the light stuff in the in the bar. <laughs> um, so how long were you dancing for? Too long. I think most witnesses would say too long, really, because I, I look like. Um, well, what they do is, of course, on these shoots, they, they, they play the music real loud so you know what you're dancing to, and then they, they say, stop the music and action, and you're dancing, <laughs> in my case, like a baby giraffe, <laughs> on ice, in silence. <laughs> and we were, they'd had loads of really good-looking models and stuff, that, uh, and there was just, in the middle of them, there was just a functioning chimpanzee, <laughs> making, <laughs> make, you know, throwing shapes. So you, la awful. you laughed for 72 hours? Yeah, we did. It was a, it was a laugh. Yeah. It was three days. I, I just said, oh, my character won't dance and got away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Got away with it, swerved it. It was great. <laughs> Very good. And what sort of... Um, you've had quite a bit of support, haven't you, for the, for the character, for the story? Yeah, I have. I've had sort of both publicly and, um, you know, through different people. Um, sort of Anthony Cotton's um, helped me out a lot and sort of yeah. said how he felt when, when he was experiencing that stuff. And Paul O'Grady as well. He's done... Um, you know, he's been very supportive and... You know, so, well, he so quite so he, he does. Yeah. He does. He's great as well. Um, Marlon's set to have a bit of a tough time, hasn't he? Mm. His relationship's going to be tested with Paddy yeah. <laughs> over the sort of. I don't know whether it's going to be a love triangle, but we're aware it, of... It, it, uh, 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 yeah, the, it's going to be a sort of... Uh, it's, it is, it's a love story. And it really, in many ways, it's Paddy and Marlon's love story. Uh, you know, their, their friendship, they love each other like brothers, and the, there's going to be a wedge driven between them, and it's going to, their friendship's going to be tested in a, in a really dramatic way, and um, there's a couple of amazing twists coming that story. So. Yeah, we're really excited about playing that. Okay. I, was, I was also very uh, interested to see what your dream roles were. And, uh, I mean, you've been on here before. Yeah. Uh, Danny said that uh, you'd love to be in a Danny Ball movie. That yeah, would be, yeah, would, that would yeah. be your big dream. Um, but, uh, but yours, Mark, <laughs> is, uh, is, that's a, is, is, I think, achievable. It's doable. You'd like to be Spider-Man. <laughs> Do you know, I said, you know when you say something in an interview is a joke and it gets picked up and becomes a headline, right? Yes. That's what happened. Imagine me, the, the, I mean, I, my ankles would be showing, the suit would, no suit is that stretchy. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> so I think if I had to choose another role, it would be, I'd probably play another fictional chef in a continuing drama. I don't think the evil. Would you? Yeah, <laughs> but, but with more action, sort of like, you know, some sort of action sequence with where he saves somebody from a poached egg disaster or something. <laughs> I don't know what you think. Eggman or something. Eggman. 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 There it's got it is. A ring to it. Yeah, yeah, with a yellow kind of dot and Yuck. an E in it and white for the rest. You, see, you should You've never have all these ideas out, out loud. <laughs> Just write them down. Some producer somewhere is thinking, this is a go. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's have a, a word with Samantha. He's got some questions for you in the hub. Lots and lots of questions from the viewers. Uh, Jade on Twitter wants to know what the fans' reaction has been like to the build up to tonight's episode. Massive. On Twitter, monumental. Yeah, yeah. Bit, I, I've had numerous amount of mentions. People saying, like, it's my 18th birthday today on the day of Emmerdale crash. I remember this when I'm 52 and stuff. It's like, <laughs> oh, wow. like, brilliant, you know. It is building up to be one of those real watershed moments in Emmerdale's history, yeah. I think, tonight. Well, yeah. a couple of hour-long special as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Big old do. Samathy? Uh, Kelly Sang has got a question for Mark on Facebook. Can you cook in real life like Marlon can? Um, yeah, in fact, I had two Michelin stars for a while, but they went by the by um, the more I started to focus on Emmerdale. No, I'm all right. I can... Uh, Beans on toast? <laughs> I, well, you know, I do Delia's garlicky fish soup very well. Do you? There, oh. I said it. It's out there now. I do. It. Yeah, and you're proud of yeah, it. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I can follow a recipe quite well, but I'm not known for my culinary skills. What about you? Um, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, but, I mean microwavable meals for me are, are a bonus. They cook it for you. Some can be tough. Yeah, you know, some are hard they to can do. You get the time right. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let them stand. Put them back in again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Guys, thank you very, thank very you. much. Thank so you. that is Emmerdale tonight at seven for the one-hour special Not that everyone that is talking about. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Uh, Gina thank you. De Campo helps another husband surprise his wife straight after the break. <laughs>